everyone and welcome to my channel so I decided to put this little video out because I think I owe you guys a video I didn't post anything this weekend I'm good I'm still here everything's well it's just I was going to talk about Emily Paris part two but I was so underwhelmed by it you know now she's going to Rome it's Emily in Rome and speaking of fashion because this video is about the fashion Emily Paris, from being, you know, writing the, is it cocktail or cocktail, cocktails of Sex in the City? You know, it's from the same creator, Darren Star. I'm missing the fashion in Emily Paris. My favorite looks were actually when she was in Rome and she was channeling, you know, Roman Holiday, Audrey Hepburn. But she has a scene where Lily Collins and um, Ashley Pack, a park, um, she plays um, men. They're going somewhere, and you never know where they're going, but Emily's wearing this, like, red leather cat suit out of a Oops, I Did It Again video from Britney Spears. I'm like, what is this, Emily? And then she goes to, like, the Alps, the French Alps. Look at this look. It looks like she was swallowed by a peacock that just came out of a Taylor Swift concert. And then the Emmys were this Sunday. And if you know me, you know I love an award show. If people ask me, what's my favorite season? I always say <laughs> award season. I'm always, you know, leaning towards women's fashion. Of course, I'm a woman. And, you know, women, we take more risks as far as fashion goes. And men, you know, for the past few years... Men have been like, uh, oh, they don't take risks. It's always the tux and then the bow tie or a tie and it's all matchy matchy. But lately, the men have been like raising the bar. And I think it's like men accepting their feminine side and like I said, taking more risks with, with fashion, which is like so wonderful to see. So all the ladies from um, the Emmys yesterday, I was so underwhelmed. No, nothing caught my eye. Nothing was different. So Fia Vergara is still wearing the mermaid um, outfit that she always does. Same hair. Selena Gomez wears the same dress that she always wears. She looked beautiful, but it's always the same thing. My favorite lady of the night that I can think of, because I wrote it down, like I, I at least need to have one woman on this list, was Jennifer Aniston, who is always very boring to me, very like eh, vanilla, but... She knows what works for her. She knows what looks good on her. And we might have seen her on this dress before, but I always look at women's fashion in a sense that I want to wear that. I want that dress for myself. And this dress that she's wearing, like, I want it. Speaking of ladies still, it's the fake tan back. And I mean, like, the orange fake tan. Kristen Wiig? She looked like an Oompa Loompa. She was so orange. There was another lady. I can't, I can't see what I wrote. It, it, it has a J, J dot something. Who was it? Because there was another one that was like super orange. I was like, come on, are we back in the 2000s? As far as the show goes, on my little notes, before we get to the man's fashion, The Bear, not a comedy. I don't watch the bear and laugh. It's a drama. Can we put in the drama category? And I felt so bad for like Jeremy Allen White because his category, Martin Short, Steve Martin, uh, Larry David, they're like comedic legends. And then he won the award. I was like, oh no, at least like Richie, he won for supporting actors of the bear. Season one, he had some funny moments because he's very sarcastic, you know, he has that like dry sense of humor. So he made us laugh here and there. But season two, the one that he won the, the Emmy for, it was very dramatic. Like Forks, favorite episodes. One of my favorite episodes of television of all times. It's not comedy. Oh my gosh, it is not comedy. Speaking of comedy and slash drama, I want to give a shout out to my boy, Anthony Starr. Homelander himself showed up at the Emmys looking amazing. So he had him, Kathy Bates, and um, Giancarlo Esposito, who is also in The Boys. And Kathy Bates, she made a, 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 a funny bit where she said, do you know how hard it is to get a date after misery? I started laughing. That was really funny. But Anthony Starr, he looks so good. You might think that this video is 
a little thirsty because I will only be talking about the men's fashion, which I usually don't do because like I said, men are usually like, well, pretty boring. So let's start with um, Bobby. Bobby, it's a Burke. Like I said, look at this. I can't even read my own handwriting, but he was on Queer Eye for the straight guy or, you know, the reboot. But look at his look. How cool. He looks so edgy, so cool. The eyeliner matching his, is it a suit? It's a, I don't know, paint suit jacket. And you might think it's wrinkly, but that's just the fabric. I love the color. I love the makeup. He looked amazing. Speaking of queer eye, on my list, and I'm telling you, this is why we need the gays. We need the gays for the fashion and for lots of things. Give the gays all the rights they want. Because out of my list, of all the, you know, best dressed men, it's like gay, 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 gay. There's only one man that's straight. Thank you guys for bringing on the fashion. I love you guys. Um, next one that I have is Joshua Jackson, Pacey himself. What is this man doing? Because I saw him giving an interview on E! with Laverne Cox and I was just like, drool like drool coming out of my mouth he looks so good was it botox maybe a facial i don't know but he looks like natural like his age and then you know a little salt and pepper hair and i was thinking is this a post breakup glow up because you know him and um uh jody turner smith recently well not that recent but they um separated they have a little daughter together and now he's dating lupita nyong'o so maybe it's Lupita or maybe it's just the breakup glow up. He looks so dreamy. Hashtag Team Pacey. But we are not done with Joshua Jackson. No, we're not because he got paired up with no other than Matt Bomer. Boomer? Bomer, right? Another one that I can't with those blue eyes, that smile, the hair always so nice put together. Oh my gosh, they put him and Joshua together to present an award. And I was just like... I will write a script for a movie just so I can cast those two together as lead actors. I remember being so proud, thank you again, <laughs> to be part of that show. He opens the door, and as we go through, we realize we are more comfortable with characters having real life experiences than we ever could have imagined. Imagine a movie with Matt Bomer and Joshua Jackson. Just look at them together. Oh, delicious, delicious. Speaking of Matt, he also was seen on the red carpet with his co-star from Fellow Travelers. If you have not seen Fellow Travelers, get on it. It's such a good show. It, it will pull your heartstrings. It's also very sexy, very sensual. It's sad at times, it's heartbreaking. I want Skippy and Hawk together again. I remember the show was coming out weekly and it was appointment TV for me, like every week. I was watching the show and then when it was the last episode, I was like, what am I going to do now? I don't have Skippy and Hawk to watch anymore. And Jonathan Bailey, another dreamy one. Look at him. He looked so smooth. I love showing a little bit of the chest. That thing, I don't even know how you call it, around the waist, the way he was posing, the glasses, the hair. I love him. Oh, we had Gael Garcia Bernal and Diego Luna. I've had a crush on these two since I was a kid, since Y Tu Mama Tambien came out. And then Diego did Havana Nights, which was like a little sequel to Dirty Dancing. And then Gael, um, he did Amores Peros, which is a great movie. His eyes, I love his eyes. He's got that little greenish eyes. Oh, he was Che Guevara in um, The Motorcycle Diaries. Anything those two do, I love. I think they're best friends in real life. I think there's a movie. They're working on a movie together. So I want a sequel of Y Tu Mama Tambien called Y Tu Papi Tambien. Look at this too. How good looking they look. Oh, and Gael, so stylish too with the oversized pants and the beard. And Diego doesn't get old. He still has the boyish face. What disappointment of the men, of the gays, Ricky Martin who's so good looking, another one that doesn't age or ages beautifully. So boring. I feel like he always wears this. Do you guys feel like if you see Ricky Martin in past red carpets, I feel like he's always in this white tux with the black bow tie. Ricky, you can do better. So these were my highlights for the men's fashion at the Emmys. I hope I didn't sound too thirsty. And I could have kept going because like I said, the men, they 
brought it. What do I have planned for this weekend? I think I will talk about the Menendez story, um, Monsters by Ryan Murphy. It comes out Thursday. So I'm hoping I can binge it and then put out a video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the little bell, the notification button, so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time.